So once again, once again, we've taken a uh, uh, this divide and center. All right, we've divided and centered. We've been doing this so many times. Okay, this is the first time we've done it with an image sprite. But when we start doing the blocks, when we start putting the blocks into code, um, we're going to be doing this quite a bit more. Okay, um, so this particular bit of code right here, um, it would be really useful if we could just extract this into a procedure. All right. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go to our procedures. We're going to grab this time. We're going to do a two result. We haven't done a two result yet. This is going to be our first two result procedure. Okay. And I don't remember what I called this yesterday. Oh, sorry. thank you. We got a two result procedure and I zoomed that in wrong. There we go. Um, and this is going to be uh, oh, what is it going to be? Find uh, this is going to be find midpoint. I think. I think that's what this is. It, that's, it's really not descriptive enough. Um, but basically, um, it's going to, no, nope, it's not find midpoint. It's move to midpoint. There we go. Move to midpoint. All right. Now it's going to take in a position, all right? Um, which is an X uh, or Y coordinate on the screen. And then it's going to take the width of the object into, into uh, account. So we need two inputs. Okay, the first uh, value in the uh, in the procedure is going to be the position that we want to move the midpoint onto. I suppose this would be move midpoint onto rather than move to midpoint, but whatever. Um, and then we want the width of the thing. Okay. All right. Now the code that we want is is basically this this snippet right here. Okay this um, on the X, okay? We're just gonna duplicate that and then we're gonna lock that into move to midpoint. Now these values, the specific, the specific values that are in here are not what we want. We wanna get rid of the canvas uh, dot width divided by two, like that whole thing. Okay, and we're, we're gonna replace that with the position. Okay. Then we're going to get rid of just the width part. We're going to leave the divided by two. All right, we're leaving the divided by two. We're just getting rid of the width part. We're going to toss that. And then we're going to drop the width in. Okay. So now this function here. Um, this function here, what it's going to do um, is it's going to replace this. Uh, this code here. So we don't have to write this code ever again. All right. We've written it uh, you know, two or three times now uh, with the ball. And here it is again with image sprites. Now I can use this code. All right. Um, to move anything to the center. All right. All right. So to use this, we're going to use this uh, function right here okay uh, don't delete this yet just just unlock it okay we're going to use this move to midpoint function right here okay um, you grab it out of procedures okay now, the position that we want to move to, in this case, is the canvas width divided by two, the center of the canvas. Okay? Um, and then the width of the thing that we're trying to uh, move to the midpoint of is this image sprite. Okay? So we're just going to drag those things out, and then we can delete the rest of this code. So that refactors this. 
Okay, that refactors this. So we're going to move to midpoint. What the position, okay, is canvas width divided by two. The width is the width of the image sprite. That's going to do the math for me, which is subtract and divide. All right. And then if we check our code here, we should see no change. This, this is called a return. This two result, this is a return value. So what happens is a procedure like this one takes inputs, modifies those inputs, and then returns a result. Okay, we know that this result is a number, so we put it into the X, but the result doesn't have to be a number. It could be anything that you manipulate inside the code and then return back to the main program. All right, but in this case, it's just a value. Could we have directly manipulated the image sprite in this and made like, like down here, we made like a create ball on position. Okay, could we have done that? Could we have said move image sprite to midpoint? We could have. Okay, we could have done that. Okay, um, but the reason why we wrote it this way is because this code will actually work for image sprites and balls. All right, it doesn't matter, um, and it's also it doesn't care about like so it's a, it makes it extensible. Okay, it makes it extensible because we just use the numbers. Um, it also works for the height as well as the width. Okay, so this works for the height as well as the width. Um, you would just, instead of passing in the, the X component, you pass in the Y component. And then the word width just refers to um, the dimension. So you could, you could pass in the height. Okay, even though it says width, you could pass in the height. All right, there you go. That is, that's it for today, actually.